Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I wanted to do something a little bit different. I wanted to talk about this book called A Happy Pocket Full of Money that absolutely changed my life, okay? I swear, every time I read this book, something clicks in my subconscious mind and I end up manifesting a lot of abundance you know, that too on a large scale, I ended up manifesting a gold award and a big bonus at work when I thought I wouldn't be getting anything because I'm not going to lie, the economy at the time was not great. Okay, the market just was not great. And despite that, you know, I was still able to manifest financial abundance. I've manifested other things in my life too, like, you know, good social life, um, a lot of what do you call it, like progress in my love life, um, you know, my connections with people just got deeper, I was invited to all these cool tech events, I got a lot of like, you know, free stuff, like free swag, if you know, you know, stuff we all get, that's a term in tech, I got to travel a lot, okay, and um, I, I don't want to say it's just because of this book, but ever since I did like start reading this book, and I have reread this book, um, at least a couple of times, you know, my life is just like, escalated so much okay and like I read a lot of books okay I've read a lot of Joe Dispenza's books I read a lot of Neville Goddard's books and I I love those books you know there's definitely some that I, I like more than others but like a happy pocket full of money even though the title sounds so cheesy is the one that I think um really really made and continues to make a huge impact on my life okay um I know it's it, this says a happy pocket full of money, but I feel like the advice in here can be applied to literally any aspect of life. Like I noticed, uh, or like I said, I noticed a lot of aspects of my life like escalating. I noticed getting a lot of abundance in, um, like I said, my career life, my social life, my love life, okay, um, my interpersonal relationships after reading this. Okay, this talks a lot about you know, consciousness. And um, it, it talks a lot about law of assumption principles that I talk about on here on my channel and that you've probably seen around YouTube, but it breaks it down in a way where it really makes things click and stay. Okay, so I feel like I'm able to retain a lot of the information that I learned from this book, because it's pretty like simply written, like it's not too hard to understand, even though um, no, I guess it does talk about quantum physics, but they break it down in a way that is digestible. And I do want to read a couple of excerpts and paragraphs that really stood out to me and really made things click for me and really made me, um, you know, live my best life. Like I'm the, you know, the best part is that a lot of these things that I manifested, I was able to keep. Okay. I feel like when I say things really clicked for me, I mean, they clicked for me in a way um, where, like I said, you know, retention was a thing like I was able to um, you know keep the things that I manifested and again these concepts are like so easy to internalize okay and I feel like a lot of these things like I said I've talked about them on my channel but the way they break it down the terms that they use the scientific explanations that they give um, really really stick with you know you it really stuck with me at least so if you're into someone who likes you know knowing about the scientific explanation of things why the law of assumption works why manifestation works how our brain works you know it talks about this i'm not saying this is a neuroscience book i would say this is categorized as a personal development book but um i i live by this book i literally carry this with me everywhere i carry it with me to the airport to work um i just have it in my purse even when i'm hanging out with my friends i just say i love having this with me okay like i've never hyped up a book this much and like I, I know this sounds dramatic but it literally changed my life so anyways without further ado i'm gonna go ahead and get started with reading um this one paragraph that i highlighted okay um you know i take a you know one takes a book seriously when they literally start highlighting and you know putting like stickies and stuff like that I, I don't usually do that with books and I'm like really picky about what I internalize what media I engage in what books I read because I don't like wasting my time okay I'm a Taurus like I, I have a lot of like I'm not gonna lie sometimes I can be lazy but I'm just very picky and again I don't um I would not vouch for anything that did not personally help me. Anyway, sorry, this was a really, really long introduction, but I really hope I have sold you in the book. But let me go ahead and um, read what I was going to read. So this is um, this is titled Journey into the Quantum Field. This is on page 13. OK, so um, I'm just going to read all the parts that I had. Oh, I think I'll just read the whole page. What is your body made of? Tissues and organs. What are tissues and organs made of? Cells. What are cells made of? Molecules. What are molecules made of? Atoms. What are atoms made of? Subatomic particles. What are subatomic particles made of? Energy, 
No, they're not made of energy. They are energy. Okay, so um, this this is really important because you know on my channel and I've noticed a lot of other YouTubers talk about this. In order for you to get what you want, you have to embody the energy of that thing. You have to become that thing. So I really like the affirmation: "I am love. I am abundance. I am money. I am my perfect career. I am my perfect soulmate." Okay, um, I have like said all these things and I have like gotten the exact thing that I wanted by literally just like saying that I am that thing. If I am that thing, then um, clearly that thing has to come into my reality because I'm for, you know, lack of a better word, a you know, vibrational match or there's a, there's a frequency match. Okay, I know these are more like law of attraction terms and I resonate more with the law of assumption. I'm sure, um, you know, there, there's a law of assumption term for it that I just like, um, I don't know yet. But my point is like, if you become the thing that you want, there's no way that thing can miss you, okay? So um, I know when I was manifesting money, I would say things like, I am money. I am abundance, okay? Adding I am in front of every single affirmation makes it self-concept based and self-concept to me is the fastest way to get anything, okay? And that's just my assumption. I do want to remind you that you don't have to internalize internalize every single thing that you hear, okay? Um, if you feel like affirming for specific things or specific people is what's going to get you to your manifestation the fastest, that's completely fine. But personally for me, self-concept and I am affirmations have worked the fastest and the best part is that they stayed in my life too okay because I care a lot about retention if I'm you know spending my energy trying to manifest something and I'm putting like my energy time effort consciousness towards it um, then I want it to stay in my life okay so that's just the rule that I made for myself doing I am affirmations embodying the energy of the thing that I want and doing self-concept affirmations really really helps okay so yeah um after that, it says you are one big chunk of energy and so is everything else. Spirit and mind put this energy together in physical shapes that you are used to seeing. Everything that, you know, you see around you, everything, you know, that everything is a manifestation. Okay. Reality is a projection of your consciousness. Okay. So, um, yeah, the, I, I really love this book because it also has this affirmation that says, I am wealth, I am abundance, I am joy. So like reminds you to affirm. And I love that I am wealth, I am abundance, I am joy. Again, this can apply to any aspect of life. You know, you can uh, be abundant, you can manifest abundance in your love life, you can manifest abundance in your career life, you can manifest abundance in your social life. Okay, so I'm wealth, I'm abundance, I'm joy. Um, so the next sentence says, quantum physics tells us that it is the act of observing an object that causes it to be there, where, and how we how we observe it. Energy is the subatomic particles that in turn make up atoms and finally matter. Okay, this part's really interesting. This energy exists as waves spread out over space and time. Only when you exercise observation do these waves become particles localized as a space-time event, a, partic a particle at a particular time and place. Let me read that again, okay? Actually, before I read that again, this reminds me of the double slit experiment. If you haven't already heard of it, I highly recommend checking it out. There's a bunch of videos uh, on TikTok that really summarize what it is, but it also talks about, um, you know, waves versus particles and how when, you know, something, some when something's like not be okay you know i don't want to mess it up um i think i might say the wrong thing i kind of have to revisit that experiment myself but um i'll just read what this says this energy exists as waves spread out over space and time yeah only when you exercise observation do these waves become particles localized at a space time event a particle at a particular time and place so i remember with that experiment um they basically shot lasers at this piece of paper and um when they didn't observe it when they put the laser in a box it formed like two other slots that if when you know when they didn't shoot the lasers in a box when they um shot it like you know with the human eye observing it, it it didn't form those extra two slits that's why it's called a double slit experiment so what they realized that you know when they weren't observing it it only existed as a wave which is you know just a potentiality it's just a probability of that thing existing in time and space or existing in the time and space continuum but when it was observed it turned into a particle so um long story short okay what you observe what you give consciousness to is what ends up showing up in your reality okay what you don't literally just exists as a probability at a certain point in space and time 
Also, do correct me if I messed up explaining that, okay? I recommend just checking out the double split, double, yeah, split experiment yourself. I saw a bunch of great videos on TikTok. Um, yeah, just type, just literally type up double split experiment explanation and they have like visuals and they'll explain it much better than I do. But yeah, again, um, this is all about like time and space. So the next sentence says, um, or the probability of something existing at a certain point in time and space. Okay, so if there's something you don't want, yeah, if there's something you don't want, take away your attention and energy from it, okay? So this is like, you know, what I talk about on my channel here. This is the type of advice I give um, in my law of assumption videos, but this explains why, okay? It talks about the waves, it talks about the particles, it talks about, you know, particles becoming localized as a space-time event. So if you don't want something in your reality, stop giving your attention to it. And I know a lot of people ask, how do I do that? How do I stop thinking about it? I mean, there's a lot of different ways to go about doing that. Um, I personally like just like um, turning it into something that does benefit me. Because I know for me, if like I notice something that I don't like happening in my reality, it's kind of hard for me to not think about that. So I just like twist it into something that I like. Okay, I just flip the script. Okay, change the thought alchemize it into something more positive. I've been using the word alchemize so much. Like, I'm just obsessed with that word. But um, for example, if there's a certain circumstance, right? Like for example, like the markets are really bad right now. Um, bad right now. I choose not to observe that. Okay, I just say like, okay, well, it, it doesn't affect me in any way. It doesn't affect the people that I love. Um, everyone around me is happy and healthy. Everyone around me has a job. Everyone around me is, um, you know, financially secure and stable. And, you know, they can afford food you know, shelter, whatever, everyone around me is living their best life. I mean, so, you know, I, I just like turn it into something positive. And even if it feels like a complete lie, even the biggest lie when persisted in becomes reality. Okay, so yeah, even for third parties, I know like that's the one that a lot of people get stuck on. How do I stop thinking about a third party, whether that be, you know, in terms of manifesting an SP or manifesting a job? Um, you I either like, you know, tell yourself like it's easy for me to stop thinking about the third party. Um, I, sometimes that helps as well. Like if there's something you can't do, if you feel like there, you know, something is hard to do, then just flip the script. Just say, no, it's easy for me to ignore that thing. It's easy for me to like, you know, direct my attention and focus and energy elsewhere. And I'm, you don't have to keep saying it again and again. Just say it a couple of times and, you know, you'll automatically start doing that. Okay. You're like your subconscious mind will start, you know, like showing you a reality where, you know, that third party, that thing, that circumstance that's bothering you is not a problem anymore, okay? I would even say make circumstances work in your favor. For example, if there is a third party in, you know, your situation, you're trying to manifest an SP or whatever, um, just tell yourself like, oh yeah, you know, they needed to be with that third party to realize how great I was. Or I just like going straight to the end and saying like, I'm chosen. There is no competition. I'm the best option. I'm the only option. No one compares to me. Okay, whenever that pops up into your mind, just make it work for you, but stop dwelling on the circumstance. Stop observing that thing because, you know, you're like, you're, you're making it a particle rather than just a wave. Okay, right now it's just a probability of existence. But if you keep, for example, you know, stalking their social media, you keep, you know, talking about them, you keep like giving them life and existence, then guess what's going to happen? You know, they're going to show up more in your reality. Okay, so don't, you know, either stop thinking about them or tell yourself it's easy to stop thinking about whatever circumstance or make it work in your favor, come up with a counter affirmation, but make your circumstances work for you, okay? There's no reason why you should ever, ever, ever be in a victim mentality after learning about the law, okay? Law of assumption, manifestation. So yeah, I mean, take some time to like, you know, we're all humans. I'm not saying like be a robot. I'm not saying don't have emotions, but just realize that reality is malleable. Okay. This book like delves deep into like how it is. It talks about, you know, space and time and particle localization. And it talks about the science behind that in a very digestible, you know, easy to read, easy to internalize manner. So yeah. Okay. Let me read the rest of this. As okay. Sorry about that. Um, as soon as you withdraw observation, they become a wave again. So as you see your observation, your attention to something and your intention literally creates that thing as a space time event. This is scientific. In other chapters, we shall see how to focus, concentrate and guard your attention, energy and thoughts to create your reality exactly. Okay, so um, yeah, 
I, I really like this book. Um, I highly recommend reading this. Okay, again, I just manifested so many good things into my life. The best thing I manifested was a shift in mindset. Okay, I think like more than anything material or external, I really changed my way of thinking. I was able to see things in a new perspective. I got out of that victim mentality for good. It's like even if you know something quote unquote bad does happen to me, because there's technically no such thing as good or bad, because we're literally just observers of our reality. I'm able to shift into a positive mindset almost immediately and change that thing immediately okay so um yeah this book is a complete life changer and i highly recommend reading it i think i'm going to do more videos um talking about this book and you know talking about like different excerpts and paragraphs which more or less say the same thing but i think like um the human mind you know since a lot of us grew up being very logical um minded and you know very analytical and just you know thinking about things on a deeper level because i just my theory like you know school is kind of taught us to be that way i know that like the human mind needs a lot of proof needs a lot of rationalizing needs a lot of logic to really accept something okay i've just you know accepted that's the way that i work and i'm making that work for me although i you know i will say that if you don't want that to be the case if you just want things to happen and you don't want to read a ton of books that's completely fine too but just tell yourself like okay it's easy for me to internalize whatever i want to internalize i don't have to you know um, not everything has to be logical because honestly i hear a lot of people saying manifestation is not logical and um I don't really know where I stand on that, okay? I feel like there is logic behind everything, but there's, you know, it, it just depends on like how much logic like we're conscious of, if that makes sense. Sorry, I, I think I'm getting a little bit confusing. I'm just gonna cut myself off there. But my point is, um, I, I think reading books definitely helps. I think it definitely, you know, reading the right book really, really helps you, you know, first of all, become smarter, wiser, more knowledgeable in this book in particular, more than any other book I've read, even though I do love um, a lot of the books that I read. And I do feel like I will be doing more reviews and more videos like this on other books, especially Joe, Joe, Joe Dispenza and the Silver Mind Control Method and even some of Neville's books. Um, this book is like my Bible. So yeah. Um, anyways, I will go ahead and end the video right here. I really, really hope this helps someone. Um, let me know if you have any questions about manifestation. I will try to answer them in the comments. And I do want to let you know that I offer in-depth tarot readings as well as manifestation coaching. And I also custom make subliminals. So if you're interested in any of these services, check out the description box below where you can sign up for them. And yeah, I will end the video right here. Thank you so much.